Paul Clark, there's a lot of stuff about technology here. I mean, everyone thinks of ICT, but what does technology and the change in technology mean for Africa? How are you seeing it changing things? Hi, Stephen. Well, one of the exciting things I see that's happening here at WEF is there's also talk about technology in, in the industrial sector. And that's quite interesting because cheaper technology in the industrial sector means you can build smaller uh, plants and, and you don't have to rely on imports from China in a huge factory and so the idea is that you could you could get a reindustrialization of the continent of course there's a lot of spending happening on infrastructure power is a big area of focus um, and so we're seeing a lot more power plants being built a lot of new power coming on stream so that'll help industrialization as well um, but just speaking about power uh, Briliwa the biggest brewer here in Rwanda they're just putting solar on the roof of their brewery they're going to save 200,000 euros a year uh, or 27% of their power uh, and that's great for the company but it's also great because there's more power on the grid for domestic users to be connected. Is our government, is Team South Africa going to find it a, a little tough to get attention here considering other economies are growing more quickly than ours in Africa? Yeah, uh, South African's economy is a bit slow at the moment uh, but um, South Africa is still the second biggest economy on the continent and the most sophisticated uh, so I think it will still uh, keep its place as probably the the place where most people come to look to to put themselves down to to invest across the continent um, of course in west africa nigeria is another place uh, the biggest economy where people are interested in, in in putting down their their base for for investing in the continent but just at the moment with lower oil prices and the difficulties they're facing with their currency that's not a place that's